Hi, welcome back to In the Kingdom. My name is Tracy. Today's topic is keeping pure, and I want to take you to Psalms 119. How can a young man or woman keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commands. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. In the way of your testimonies, I delight as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. When a person plans to marry, we are making the commitment that we will be faithful to our spouse forever, that we will sever all ties with any other relationships that may compromise our relationship with them. We expect our spouse to do the same, to be totally devoted to us 100% and for their eyes not to go after anybody else. Our Messiah, our Savior, expects the same thing. The only way to stay pure is to live according to God's laws and His precepts because they never change. The world's ways are changing like a wave, but God's Word, His standards never ever change. The verse says that we will meditate on His words. That means that we actually pick up this Bible for ourselves and read it. You have to go to God yourself. You have to go read His words yourself and see what is expected of you and then line your life up with that. I uh, am on the Bible app. It's called YouVersion. I'm on that and there's several different plans on there that will take you through the entire Bible year. I don't always read it on the app because you know, text messages pop up and stuff like that and it's distracting. So I'll see what I'm supposed to read that day and then I'll, I'll go to my Bible and read it. So I always have a plan where I read through the Bible once a year. In order to not wander from His commands, you have to know His command, to meditate upon this and fix your eyes on this word, study it, line ourselves up with what He said pleases Him. And that's in this word. I will see you tomorrow. You guys have a blessed day.